Hey, hey, foodie fam. Welcome back to my channel, Kyla Foodie Dreaming. I'm Ashley. Now let's get to eating. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming back to see me. If you are new here, welcome. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all, today is a special little episode on California Dreaming, okay y'all? I know y'all saw the title. I am doing a review on Married at First Sight, which is one of my um, favorite shows right now. I have seen every season, so I am a big fan. So we're going to get into it tonight or today, whenever you see this video. And um, what I'm eating today is steak with fried onions on it and I like blue cheese crumble on my steak and I have some A1 sauce I will be using and then I have um, potatoes that I'm trying for the first time from a company called The Little Potato or something like that so my friend said they're good and so this is my first time actually getting it and then I have some greens some mixed greens here so let's get into it y'all I'm gonna say my grace and then oh and I have iced tea in my blessed cup so I'm going to say my grace and then we're going to go. All right. So let's go, y'all. So I'm just going to try my steak the way it is first. And then I put sauce on it. I like to try my food the way it is before I put anything on it. So there's my steak. It's kind of thin. It's kind of thin, y'all, but, mm-hmm, and y'all, my steak is tender because after I brown it, I put it in the oven for 30 minutes. And it makes it tender, but the trick is you gotta cover it when you put it in the oven. And so here, let me have this potato. And y'all, these potatoes have um, garlic and basil on it. Mmm. Okay. And I put a little um. I put a little olive oil on it, which I probably should have did vegetable oil. Mmm, good, good. I might have to give me some more. So how have y'all been doing? So I can tell this is a little um. Look at that. Look how it cut just real. And so here I have a little blue cheese on it. And I shook the A1 before I came on camera, so I know they say shake well before you use it. So yes, y'all, I decided to do a review or to do some episodes on Married at First Sight because I'm like, this is supposed to be an entertaining channel. So I need to do some things on entertainment and what's going on. Mm. I'm so surprised by these potatoes. It's called the little potato. That is good. They're like cooked perfectly. And literally y'all, they came in... Mm. They came in a pack, or not even a pack, it was like, 
I can't even describe it. Like, you know, the plastic containers with the um, film on it. So you put, so the potatoes were in there with the, um, with the seasoning. And so you pull back the film just to take the seasoning out and put it in a microwave for five minutes. And y'all, they are cooked perfectly. I hate microwave food. But these, I didn't know this was how you cooked it when I bought it. And they're good. But who else is a fan of Mary First Sight? You have to let me know in the comments. I'm going to eat one more bite and then I'm going to get into the, um, I'm going to get into it y'all because I don't want this video to be too long. Mm -hmm. I did say one more bite. All right, I promise I'm getting into it. So I even have notes, okay? First of all, I want to say that I am really enjoying this season. But I feel like I enjoy all the seasons, even when, like, the couples don't work out. Like, I'm just so excited to see the dynamic and how things turn out. Or, like, last season was, like, a mess with how it turned out and how many couples stayed together and how many didn't. And that was kind of a mess. But I love that show. Um, to be honest... This might be a little embarrassing, but people ask me if I would ever done that show. And honestly, y'all, I'm a little bit live, live on the edge type of person a little bit, a little bit. And if I didn't meet Daryl, when I did, or if I didn't start dating him when I did, and this show was on, I could possibly say that I would have tried to do this show. <laughs> I would have did it. I would have been one of them people. So, y'all, let's start with Miles and Karen. Because they kind of, um, I don't want to say they boring, but... Um, I feel like they might be born because did you notice how they don't get a lot of screen time as other couples? And I just feel like Karen, she just moving so extremely slow. Like, I understand moving slow, but you got married. Okay, you are married. You need to be married. Like, it ain't no friends. We starting as friends and then acquaintances. Like, last week's episode she was talking about. And he was just so flattered that he could be an acquaintance. And all. I'm like, come on now. No. There ain't no sh you ain't no acquaintance. You married. You husband and wife. And so, I can understand, like, um... You know, kind of moving slow, but like there's no type of affection and like no kind of touching, like holding hands or hugging or anything. And so I'm like, Miles is such a great catch. I know people say that all the time on like social media and stuff, but Miles, he is such a great catch. And I'm sure Karen is too. So I'm like... What's the problem? They're both really good looking people. And, um, but I mean, maybe he's not her type. I know in the first, um, episode, she was saying how he looked, um, he was emotional and she didn't like that. But, let me just talk about how, on last night's episode, when, 
when he said that he was, um, you know, when he had depression, clinical depression, um, why would she say, like, she wanted a manly man? Like, he's not, like, because of his mental illness, he's not a manly man. Like, I'm just, I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't even understand that. That made no sense to me. I did appreciate, um, I mean, I kind of appreciated how she took it, although she said that, that was the part that was, like, off to me. But I do appreciate her asking him, okay, so what do I do when you're in this phone? Like, how do you want me to, you know, talk to you or react to you or, like, you know, how will you let me know? Like, I appreciated that because for somebody who's never handled that or dealt with that, I appreciate that she, you know, is really trying to be educated on it. But that manly man comment, I was like, girl, bye. <laughs> but, um... And another thing, and I hate to bag, keep bagging on Karen because I, I like her and stuff. Even though I don't know where I'm just saying from what I see on TV. I don't know if they try to paint it like this or paint her to be this person on TV. But why in the world is she like, it's like she's always tired or something. I'm like, girl. You always trying to sleep, and you just be so tired all the time. Mm -mm. That's too much for me. Alright, so what else? Is that all I had to say? Yeah, cause she said she wanted somebody masculine. And I was like, girl, just cause mental illness don't I mean you're not masculine. Girl, I don't know what she was talking about. Henry and Christina. <laughs> <laughs> you notice how I'm doing the couples that ain't got so much going on with them already okay so Henry and Christine y'all actually on last night's episode Henry cracked me up like I don't know why he cracks me up so much and people be just like oh he needs to get it need to get it together but I think on last night's episode he got it together a little bit like he was a lot more um, communicative and he um honey he let you know what he didn't like about Christina that's for sure I was like oh, okay mm. Christina's too snappy for me like how do you get snappy with production they asking you a question because they want you to talk about something and she just, the way she snapped on production, I'm like, uh-uh. I don't like that. At all. It made me look, it made me side-eye her. And, and I'm going to tell you one thing. She did say she was impatient and she was working on it. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Henry ain't had no problem with saying he ain't like that. Well, what do y'all do? Do y'all think that... Christina is actually Henry's type or he's really interested in her. And what else? Oh yeah, when they went paddle boarding or whatever that was, that was cool. That was kind of cute. He he really enjoyed it and that was cute. He was actually better than her in something. <laughs> I mean, as far as the team fall off, but, oh, um, okay, now when, when they were talking about, like, rating, when all the couples got together and they were talking about rating each other, right, um, so you know what happened with Brett and Olivia, I'll get to them in a minute, but, you know what happened with Brett and Olivia, why, Is Christina putting in her two cents on their marriage? I'm like, ma'am, you need to worry about your own marriage first. How are you going to be talking about red flags in somebody else's marriage? Like, uh-uh, you don't do that. And I probably would have told her, uh, ma'am, you overstepping. Don't tell me nothing about my marriage. You don't know your husband either, just as much as I don't know mine. <laughs> 
worry about your own husband. Okay, we'll do Brett and Olivia since I was just talking about them. But honestly, y'all, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I kind of like, I don't want to say I like them, but I don't mind them right now. Like, when Brett, when they were talking about, you know, everyday life for them and how Olivia was saying she's always, she calls her mom and her friend every day. And how she spends, I guess, time with her friend, go spends time with her friend every day. I'm like, I hope you don't think you can do that in marriage. Like, it's going to be a rude awakening. And he did point that out, which I really liked. He had, like, he really was like, well, where's time for me? And that's so real. You can't be spending time with people every day. And then you already talking about you want to spend time with them, but... You just met, like, you just met this guy. You just met your husband. You should be trying to spend as much quality time and time with him as much as you can to get to know him. Not trying to spend time with him and other people together like now. That's one thing I didn't uh, really care for with Olivia, but, honey, Olivia is a breadwinner, apparently. And, I mean, she don't mind it, but I was like, okay. She got some expensive tape. She said she liked to go on expensive trips, and she loves expensive wine and all that kind of stuff. And that's the one thing about Brett that kind of is like, mm. Like, instead of him compromising and saying, okay. We're going to, you know, try it this way or whatever. He's like, well, have you had cheap wine? Cheap wine is good. And he's constantly talking about how his budget or he don't have money to do stuff. Like, that kind of thing. I just don't like that. Yeah, I don't like all that that he was like, okay, you, 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 you really don't need money to do a lot of things. I mean, I guess... Um, the expensive trips and stuff that she was talking about, you need money for. But hey, she got it and she don't mind buying, so. You need to be like, okay, we're going to experience life together. We're going to go to the movie, we're going to do this. But, mm, he was, um. He was too salty about being, um, rating people and being rated and stuff. Which I don't, I kind of didn't mind his, um, him not wanting to rate the marriage and stuff. Um, because it really is like, how do you rate something that's only been for six days? Like, of course, right now it's a high rating. We ain't go through nothing, we ain't been through nothing. So, we live in La La Land and Paradise. So, why? Why wouldn't you give it like a high rating, especially if you really like this person and you like where it's going? It's like, okay, right now it was high. But he had a problem with that. And when he heard Olivia break that man, I guess it hurt his feelings. And he was saucy for the rest of the night because that little argument that they had, or not so much argument, but mm -hmm, that was just. So y'all, that's why the Bible says don't let the sun go down on your anger. <laughs> but I did appreciate the fact that, um, I did appreciate the fact that he woke up the next morning and apologized. Although he should have talked about it right then and there. She, she kept saying, is there anything bothering you, you know? And he was acting like nothing was wrong. Like, just tell her what's wrong with you. What you didn't like, what you liked. Communicate. But. Right now. I don't mind them. At first I was like. Oh God. Brett is an honor. He's this type of person. And. Right now. I don't think so. I'm, I'm kind of liking them. We'll see how. How it goes. 
when they get home. Bennett and Amelia. Y'all, I love them. They are just, I just really love Bennett and Amelia because they are just so like real people. They so genuine and they are so for each other. I love their conversations on how they trying to get to know each other. Like all those childhood conversations and how did you grow up? How did you grow up? Like I love that. And then I love how they film in the most, like the best locations or like the best places like did y'all see when they were in that um like that little cave thing and it was like a circle that they were sitting in i was like that is so cool like they were so close and so intimate and like talking and getting to know each other and laughing and i'm just like oh my god they are good they are mad the experts nailed that so far but Bennett he's very like he's very compromising like at first he his sister was saying how he didn't want kids and all that kind of stuff and he he's kind of like I just I don't know I just like him he compromises and he's open to things in his marriage so oh I was going to say, you know what I liked was when um, Karen was talking about Miles and when Amelia spoke up for him, like she was telling him like he is this great guy, maybe he's this and that. I was like, okay, Amelia, because apparently Karen ain't saying it. So thank God somebody spoke up for him. And then, oh, one thing that is so funny to me, y'all, is when Amelia... Like when Bennett is talking to her and how she was like falling asleep and she kept falling asleep. First of all, I was like, wait a minute, that's a flag, Bennett. Why you don't just let her sleep? He didn't woke her up and started talking her ear off again. It was so funny. But I'm like, Amelia, how you be just, even last week, how she zoned out when he was, um, when they were playing chess on the chessboard and he was asking her about her residency and them moving and possibly like finding a location for them to live she was looking at the chessboard zoned out i'm like girl if you don't stop zoning out first you zone out then you fall asleep and you never finish the conversation <laughs> but um but yes i love them though they both i mean separately and together like i just like them as people And y'all, last but not least, the juiciest couple on the show so far. <laughs> Amani and Woody, they are, now I really like them together, y'all. They know how to marry at first sight. They really do. Like, I'm kind of like, uh-oh, what happens when they get in their first argument, but... Because you know how Woody's mom was like, oh, I didn't see the devil come out of him or whatever like that. I'm just like, I wonder how it's going to be when they argue because Amani, she's not the arguer. She already said she don't have no problem telling him, you know, come back when you can talk to me the way I want to be talked to. So, um, but I really like them. Apparently, they consummated their marriage and... um. I just, I don't know, they're just so romantic together. Like, he's very um, caring for her. And she is, I love her attitude towards stuff like trying new things. Like, when they did those sand dunes or something like that. I don't know what they was. But them cars, like, I just like how she's open to stuff. Like, they did those boats. Like, I feel like they're doing all the fun activities. And, um... And just very adventurous together. Like, I really like that. They seem to really enjoy their honeymoon, aside from consummating their marriage. But, um, you know, just real romantic how he set out those rose petals for her and how he really just planned the evening. And um, 
she Amani cracks me up though how when she was like so y'all be kissing it was so funny because that sounded like something I would say like I don't know we kind of like on how we talk a little bit but she speaks her mind like she will she'll just ask whatever she want to ask when she want to ask it and I kind of like that about her um, the only thing about like married at first sight, which I understand you have to do this for TV, but it's like, it's like the kissing and telling for me. Like I kind of would be like Brett, like I don't want to tell my business on TV, but then it, on the other hand, it's like, you knew what you were signing up for when you got on the show. But I really want to say I am enjoying the show. Please y'all, please, please, please comment below and tell me who is your favorite couple right now. I have two. But I'm going to say, I don't know. I have two, which is Amelia and Bennett and Woody and Amani. So you let me know who's your favorite couple. And let's talk about it, y'all, because I love some Mary Different Sight. And I think that's it, y'all. Thanks so much for watching and staying with me as I ate my food and talk y'all ear off about Mary Different Sight. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, please, so you will know every time I post another video, okay? All right, I will see y'all on the next one. Love y'all. Bye.